This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. So every once in a while, a political organization puts out an ad, puts together a video that really breaks things down and puts things into perspective. And when you have the benefit of hindsight, my glasses are fogging up here, when you have the benefit of hindsight, you can look back and, and put the pieces together that you didn't really know were happening at the time. And July 4th, a few years ago, several Republicans went to Russia. They spent the 4th of July. They celebrated their Independence Day by going to Moscow in Russia and meeting with, for a photo op with Russian officials which ended up leading to many of them adopting Russian propaganda lies and disinformation in their duties as senators. And there's this group called Really American, dumb name, not a fan, <laughs> but they put together this ad that I want to share with you because it is a, a remarkable retelling, framing exactly what is taking place with the Republican Party right now. The Rep Republican loyalties to their country are so non-existent. I was going to say they're frayed, but they're not frayed. They're gone. Republicans see the writing on the wall. They know that their message is not resonating with America. They know that people disapprove widely of their social conservatism, their insanity about their purity culture nonsense. So much so, the Republicans are realizing it, that they're willing to destroy the country rather than change their ideology. They're, they're willing to drag our democracy through the dirt in an attempt to inextricably alter who we are as a nation rather than see the error of their ways and change the way they think and operate politically in this country. Watch this ad from Really American and uh, let's talk about it on the other side. On July 4th, 2018, after the Senate Intelligence Committee confirmed that Russia interfered in the 2016 election, eight Republicans were at the Kremlin doing a photo op with high-ranking members of Vladimir Putin's regime. Lawmakers traveled to Moscow this week on a Republicans-only trip to Russia. One Russian official said the eight Republicans were soft and that the meeting was one of the easiest of his life. Senator Ron Johnson even downplayed Russian election interference just days after his 4th of July trip to Moscow. And after Putin illegally invaded Ukraine and started shelling cities full of civilians, Ron Johnson went on Fox News to blame President Biden. I don't think Vladimir Putin would have moved on Ukraine were it not for the weakness displayed uh, certainly by the Biden administration, but also by the West in general. If these senators were truly worried about Russia, why did they all vote to block three separate election security bills? Why did they cover for Trump when he withheld crucial military aid to Ukraine? Why have they all consistently taken Putin's side? Vladimir Putin has shown that his goal is to destabilize Western democracy from Ukraine to the US. We can't allow his puppets to sink their claws deeper into our government. America, vote out Russia's Republican allies in 2022. Now, the hashtag up in the, the top right-hand corner there, a party of treason, pretty spot on. The Republican Party is no longer an American political party. They are agents of a hostile foreign power. Now, there are, there are a few of them that are supporting Ukraine right now. But there are far too many who toe the Russian propaganda line, who spew the lies and the filth and the subterfuge coming right out of the Kremlin. This video has been seen over a million times, 1.1 million times. Hopefully, the message is getting through. Hopefully, people like Ron Johnson from, from Wisconsin, who is a reliable idiot, a reliable puppet, stooge for, for whatever disinformation and propaganda is coming out of the out of the Kremlin from Vladimir Putin. We are in a precarious place. I've been talking about this for, for months and months and months. 
that our democracy is on the wane. It is in, 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 in danger of collapse. And it is because one of our two major political parties, they're really, we're, we're a two-party system where no real, no other party really has any, any stranglehold on power or claim to power for that matter. One of our two major political parties is, is jettisoning any loyalty to the country. Scary. To coin a phrase that I'm common for saying, gross. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. Thank you for joining me. Follow me on social media. That is the perfect place to yell and scream and tell me what a wrong dipshit I am. <laughs> I welcome your input. Uh, if I bring you value, on the other hand, that I do something for you that you appreciate, I would, uh, I would appreciate it if you'd consider supporting my work, helping produce these videos right here on YouTube. You can click the join button below this video see what's involved to become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. You could become a channel member, $1.99 a month. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, which is not just for the podcast that absolutely supports what I do here. And I would appreciate you just considering it. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.